Hi, my name is Angie Hotz, and I am a birth doula and a childbirth educator and a student midwife at MCU, Midwives College of Utah. Um, and over the last three days, I've been doing the student orientation. It's been a three day intensive. And one of the assignments is to talk about transitioning to life as a student midwife. We're supposed to identify three or more challenges ahead and some ideas on, on how we can meet those challenges and maybe some potential solutions to those. And I've been meaning to make a video about the beginning of school anyway, so I'm gonna use this assignment um, and put it out there on YouTube because I know that there are some people who have asked questions and who are interested in my starting school as a midwife. Um, so looking at who I am and what I'm good at and what I need work on, I'm really good at starting new things. I'm really good about just jumping in and being daring and bold and um, I'm an Aries and I love that <laughs> about myself. However, uh, my time management is not great and sometimes my follow through needs some work too. So one of the three things that, and I have a few more than three, but one of the three things that I identify as being a challenge, like the top one on the list is time management. So I have my passion planner and I've been using my passion planner as more of a journal. And I put some things in there. I put appointments and you know dates for prenatals and things for doula clients and classes and stuff like that. But now I'm gonna use it for school. So um, a challenge will be how to make that into a functioning tool for me based on what I already have. I mean, I have this gorgeous academic planner. So figuring out how to use it the best way possible. Um, so another thing that I see being a problem is um, isolation. Uh, already over the last three days I've had the three days of school and then I've been to two births and then of course you know I have family I have four boys and my husband um, my husband stays home with the boys and he um, homeschools them which is fantastic but I'm still their mother <laughs> and I want to spend time with them and uh, like I'm, I've been in my room for a while or at births or sleeping and I haven't really been around everybody all that much. So being able to reach out to other people and then people outside of my life, what I need from other people is for you to reach out to me, um, for you to say, Hey, let's have coffee. Hey, let's, you know, how are you? What, what's going on with you? Um, definitely meeting up with fellow student midwives in the area and having study dates, whether we're just hanging out together, um, friends that we can just like work on things and have work dates together. That's going to be really important to me. And even if we don't get together because I'm too busy, I really am going to need the, the reaching out. That is just going to be so meaningful for me. Um, one of the other things I had was self-care rituals. I've been a night owl since I can remember. Like I remember being a wee tiny little kid and being up in the middle of the night and I can't do that now. Like sleep is precious, not only because I'm older, <laughs> which that's kind of weird, but um, not only because I'm older, but because now I'm going to births and not getting as much sleep and then school. Like I need my brain to function like at a top notch, right? And sleep is going to be good for that. So I need to place some self-care rituals and sleep boundaries, which again, like I'm, I'm a boundary tester. And it's hard for me to make them and stick to them. So I, yeah, I need to come up with some rules. Um, and all my whole family are, we're all night owls. And it's kind of one of the beauties of homeschooling um, is that, you know, we can stay up till midnight watching shows and having a good time and that's fine, but I'm not gonna be able to do that so much anymore. Like I need to place some boundaries. So um, self-care, which uh, self rituals, huh? That's actually kind of a good, good slip. Um, I have some witchy rituals for self-care that I need to implement. Um, things like, you know, my nutrition, little things on that Maslow's hierarchy of, of needs, like hitting and making sure that those bottom pieces of that, of my needs as a human being are met. I need to be mindful of that. Um, one of the things I put on here is, um, to express gratitude to my family and to share with them so they know that what I'm doing is meaningful and I'm not 
gone all the time because I want to be gone from them. And that the reasons why I am not home as much or I'm studying or I'm preoccupied or I just, I have a sense that that gratitude is going to go a long way to making them feel like it's worth it for them too. I mean, I would love for them to say, oh yeah, my mom's a midwife and she helps catch babies and you know, she does this meaningful work and I want them to have some positive memories of the, the, the schooling ahead that I know I'm going to be quite preoccupied for a while, but I want them to kind of have a sense of pride in what I do as well. So being um, gracious and giving them gratitude and saying, thank you so much for being patient and thank you for supporting me and thank you for um, understanding when I couldn't make it to your thing or thank you for, you know, asking somebody else to do it because I was too busy. Um, and then making, making plans with them, being um, mindful and being purposeful and intentional about spending time with them and making sure that, you know, they are huge priority to me and I adore them and um, I can't do it without them. You know, I need them too. Um, <laughs> one of the other things, the last thing I have on my list was always get ahead if I can. I am a procrastinator. I'm really good at procrastinating. And some of my very best ideas, things that are making me money right now, like the affirmation cards. So if you don't know, I make badass affirmation cards. So they're sweary and cussy and edgy affirmation cards. And I was supposed to be doing like a million other things. Like I had deadlines, I had goals, I had stuff set to be done. And I had an idea to make affirmation cards and so I made them and just put off everything else. Like some of my best ideas come when I'm procrastinating doing other stuff. So I know this, I need to allow myself a little bit of procrastination, um, but I also need to know that I need to get ahead. So like I've already read a book that's required reading for the, the coming semester. Um, I've already started, I've already mostly made the website that's going to be for my clinic 1010 class. And I've done the things that come easy to me that I know I can just kind of whip out really quickly. And that way I have some time to procrastinate the other stuff that doesn't come as easy to me. So um, that's it for this assignment. Um, I was trying to make it work on my Mac. I was trying to figure out how to to like record on the webcam with my Mac, but I figured my phone's webcam was a little bit better. Or my phone's camera was a little bit better. And we have this super fast um, fiber optic internet now, and it uploads like this, like longer than I thought it was gonna be video is gonna upload super fast. So one of my tools for school that my wonderful husband, so here's my gratitude. Thank you, Jamin. Um, for helping me set up my office space, my workspace, my learning space, and for getting us super fast um, fiber optic um, internet service. Like this long video is gonna upload in less than five minutes and that's just fantastic. So hopefully it will motivate me to make more um, quickish videos. Um, okay, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, you know, send me some love as I start this journey. I'm really excited for it. Um, I'm excited to do this meaningful work. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Bye.